Hey guys, I was going to type up some instructions, but figured it would be just as easy to show you with a screen record of this. So let's start with getting the compression software. Uh, open up a browser, go to Google, and type in MPEG Stream Clip. That's the name of the software we're going to get. Hit enter, come down here to their site. And you'll see the two versions here. Um, so I'm assuming you guys are doing this on a Mac, so you'll click that and download it. Now, once you have it there, you open up the program, and you'll see a box like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the video file and drop it in there. I'm going to use this one, for example. So you just click and drag it, put it in the box. And if you hit spacebar, you can see it plays and everything. Um, after that, come up here to File, go to Export to QuickTime, and here's where we're going to do all of our settings. Uh, so for the compression type, click this drop-down box and scroll to the top. Go to H.264. Take uh, the quality thing here, put it all the way to 100. Now here's where we're going to uh, crunch the file size down. Uh, so let's start with a data rate of Let's try 4,500. 186 megabytes. Yeah, okay. You'll see right here on the side how much it's going to crunch it down. Um, if the file you have is 30 gigs, uh, you'll see here on the number what you're going to get it to. And since you guys are putting it on a DVD, you got to have it under 4 gigs. So if the number here is over 4 gigs, then just make it a smaller number until you get underneath... Um, you know, four gigs, so you can put it on a disc. All right. So for my example here, I'm going to put 4,500 uh, on the sound. Click that. Go to MPEG4 AAC. Click that. Come over here and change it to 192, and that'll help with the file size as well. Um, on your frame size, leave whatever option says unscaled on it. Uh, it should default to what it it already is, uh, but leave it on whichever option says unscaled. Uh, come over here where it says interlace scaling and deinterlace video. You want to deinterlace it. And you don't have to mess with any of this stuff. So we'll come down here, we'll click make movie, and it'll bring up, you know, a little save thing. I'm going to put test in that name and go ahead and uh, click save. Um, oh, looks like I already have that. So there. Alright, so it's going to go through and compress it all the way down and everything, and um, I'll show you. Here's the original video file that I had, and it was 781 megabytes, and after compression, I think, what did it say, 182 megs or something like that, um, for the final result. So what you're going to do is you're going to see on yours, when you right-click, hit click uh, Get Info, you'll see right here that it was like 30 gigs and so you want to use that uh, data rate number to get it down to underneath 4 gigs. Um, if you guys have any questions, give me a holler.